गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू फर्स्ट इज इफ अ नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री इट मस्ट बी डिविजिबल बाय नाइन इट इज फॉल्स है वी विल टेक वन एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव थर्टी इट इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री बट थर्टी इज नॉट डिविजिबल बाय नाइन सो इट इज फॉल्स नेक्स्ट इफ अ नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय नाइन it must be divisible by 3 yes it is true because 3 is the factor of a 9 if a number is divisible by 9 then that that number must be divisible by its factor also so it is true a number is divisible by 18 if it is divisible by both 3 and 6 it is false if we will take one example take we we are taking 30 30 is divided by 3 also and 30 is divided by 6 also But thirty is not divided by eighteen, so it is false. Next, if a number is divisible by nine and ten both, then it must be divisible by ninety. Yes, it is true because ninety is the LCM of nine and ten. The, this type of question we did in previous exercise also. If a number is divisible by both numbers, then that number is divisible by their LCM also. So that is true. Last is if two numbers are co-prime, at least one of them must be prime. No, it is not necessary. If we are taking one example, six and take eight. Uh, we will uh, we will take six and nine. Uh, we we will take here eight and nine. Eight and nine. Both are composite number and their common factor is one. So it is false. There is uh, if two numbers are co-prime, at least one of them must be prime. It is. False. Next F part is all numbers which are divisible by four must also be divisible by eight. It is false. If we will take forty four here, forty four is divisible by four, but forty four is not divisible by eight. So this statement is false. All numbers which are divisible by eight must also be divisible by four. Yes, it is true. Why? Because four is the factor of eight here. And in this statement, eight is the no, eight is not factor of four, so it is false and it is true. Next, if a number exactly divides two numbers separately, it must exactly divide their sum. If I will take two numbers six and four, both numbers are divisible by two, by a same number. If I will add these numbers, six plus four, ten. So this sum is also divisible by two. So this statement is true. Now we will take next uh, statement. This statement is opposite of that statement. Next is if a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers, it must exactly divide the two numbers separately. If I will take here twenty. Twenty is divisible by four. Now I will break this number. Instead of twenty, I will write thirteen plus seven. Now thirteen and seven, both numbers are not divisible by four. It, uh, it can be or it cannot be. Okay, so this statement is false. Next second question is write the missing numbers from factor three. Uh, factor tree is given. You have to find out the values of missing numbers. Here, sixty. What are the factors of sixty? Six and ten. Six and the sixty. We can we have more than. Uh, we can take more factors like twelve, five, just sixty. But numbers are given. Factors are given. So we will observe these numbers. We have to make this pro uh, this product by multiplying these two numbers. So now come on the six. Two, three's a six. Now we have to make product of ten. So what we will multiply with five? That ten will come. It is five two's a ten. This is the factor three. Now next next third question is which factors are not included in the prime factorization of a composite number? He is saying if we are taking Prime factorization of a any composite number. So, which two factors will not include in that? 
so uh, we will take one example if i am taking here 56 56 is composite number now we will find uh, we will do prime factorization of this number 56 will go on table of 2 again in table of 2 again in table of 2 now 7 is prime number it will go on itself 7 1 ja 7 so these are the prime factorization these all are prime numbers okay now in uh, uh, in every prime factorization of a composite number there will be two numbers that not that will be not include that is one and number itself itself means 56 this number will not include and the table of one we will not add so these two numbers we will not include in a prime factorization of any composite number next fourth question write the greatest four digit number and express it in terms of its prime factors greatest four digit number will be 9999 nine, nine, nine. four times we will repeat 9 now he is saying express it in terms of prime factors so we have to express in terms of prime factors here should be prime numbers will uh, will come okay now 999 nine, nine will go in table of 3 3 3 is a 9 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 now it will go in table of 3 again 3 1 is a 3 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 now it will go in table of 11 11 1 is a 11 now there is 1 1 will not come so 0 now we will uh, make take a next one it will become 11 and 11 ones are 11 you can do divide in rough also so 101 is a prime number it will go in itself number so 100 ones are 101 now we will write here prime factors 3 multiply 3 multiply 11 multiply 100 one. these are the prime factors now next question write the smallest five digit number and express in the form of prime factor now we have to write smallest five digit number it will be 1 2 3 4 5 this is the smallest five digit number now we will convert into prime factor last digit is 0 so it will go in table of 2 2 5 is a 10 Three zeros again last digit zero it will go on table of two again zero again zero to go on two now last is it five so it will go in table of five again last is it five it will go on five again five five is a twenty five now 5 is a prime number so it will go on number itself 5 and 5 so prime factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 that's Next sixth question is find all the prime factors of 1729 and arrange them in ascending order. We will find the prime factors of 1729. Now 1729 will go in table of 7. Now 247 will go in table of 13. 19 is a prime number it will go on number itself now prime factors in ascending order 
these are the prime factors we have to write in ascending order means small to big 7 13 and 19 next question the product of three consecutive numbers is always divisible by 6 verify this statement with all with help of some examples now we will take first example consecutive means jo lagata step wise chalte hain if I will take 2 here, he is saying 3 consecutive. So, next three, next 2 numbers will be 3 and 4. Uh, they are consecutive, step by are 2, 3 is 6, 6, 4 is 24. 24 is divisible by 6. Now, we will take another 3 numbers consecutive. But if I will take 8, so next 2 numbers should be 9 and 10. And their product will be 720. And 720 is also divisible by 6. So you can make more examples this of this type. 